All right, welcome back, ladies and gents. We are now in game two here, coming at you of this replay cast between the doghouse here on the Legion side, taken on White Flag Gamers here on the Hellborn side. We just saw um, the doghouse take an 18 minute or so victory there in game number one. And uh, we are now in game number two. With the bands already completed here, we have Monarch, the Chipper, and Solstice going to be banned away from White Flag Gamers here on the Hellborn side. We have Kraken, the Gladiator, and Bubbles going to be banned away here from the Doghouse on the Legion side. So the Monarch, that was in game one, that's going to be banned away here. Um, Solstice, I believe, is a new ban. That was not in game number one. And Bubbles, um, I, I think that that was banned in the second banning wave um but yeah a lot of different stuff here at least as far as the blind bands are concerned and we now have the first pick going over to white flag gamers it looks like it has been hellborn both sides again that is random so uh they're gonna go with the rhapsody here they're gonna pick up a support uh option and then we have behemoth and engineer gonna come out here from the side of the doghouse so uh the Engineer and the Behemoth, the, uh, we typically see Engineer at least as a support. Every once in a while, we'll, we'll sometimes see him as like a mid lane Engineer, but uh, I don't think we're going to see him as a core Engineer. We, we, we'd usually see either position 5, position 4 Engineer. Um, the, the thing is, there, there are a lot of Engineer players on the, the Legion side. Typically, we see Dude play that one on the support. Uh, but it would not surprise me if we see it played in another role. That is what I'm expecting it to be as. Possibly that position 5 support. Behemoth right now, it's looking like it could be a position 4. But again, Behemoth traditionally has been more of like an offlane hero in the past. Um, so it, it's kind of similar to how we saw the Magmus drafted in game 1. It could be a position 4. It could be a position 3. It's really not uh, decided at least just yet. Um, and that is kind of the beauty of picking up a hero like that with only revealing two of your heroes. You don't really give away too much to the uh, to the opposing side. So Behemoth and Engineer, we're still not quite sure where they're going to go, but we can kind of speculate. Now, White Flag Gamers has picked up their second and third heroes here, Kinesis and Rally. So they were up against the Kinesis last game. He was able to steal the Shards of Harkon, the Magmus Lava Surge. This game, he's going to have the Keg and the the fissure so far the fissure being a pretty pretty good one it's a long range stun to kind of initiate from far away um so we'll, we'll most likely see position four again kinesis that'll be a support rally will probably be the position three hero and uh at least right now i feel like they're kind of lacking damage uh with the first three picks they don't really have too much uh sustained damage once the spells are used Whereas the Behemoth and the Engineer can can do quite a lot in terms of team fight presence, so I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really liking the the Hellborns picks so far. But with that being said, there's still a lot to kind of finish off the lineups here, as we're gonna see the bands, uh, the second wave here underway. I'm gonna fast forward through this. We'll talk about them as they're going on. We got the Master of Arms ban. Malakin going to be banned away on the second band there coming out from Doghouse. So they're addressing some kind of core heroes. There's going to be the Hammerstorm as the last one coming out from the Doghouse. So far we have Balfagor and Tremble. So they're getting rid of uh, the Znooki Balfagor potential. A lot of teamfight presence already being built. Um, I would not be surprised to see a Balfagor pick if that wasn't banned away. Um, so I do think that there was good merit to the Balfagor ban. And especially with their heroes picked up already, they don't have really a good way of dealing with the Balfagor minions. Um, Tremble, again, they banned that in game number one. It's a fought signature hero. Now, they did leave Gemini open this time. They banned away the Gemini last game. And um, typically, I think Faw's, like, most played heroes are Gemini, Tremble, and Doctor, if... Uh, if I had to like label three, last game he played the Forsaken Archer, but I wouldn't be surprised to see them pick up either a Gemini or a Doctor. Um, <laughs> wow, okay, so there's the Gemini. Um, okay, so yeah, they do go with the Gemini, actually. That's kind of funny, but um, I was going to say, if you're going to ban away the Tremble, you probably want to ban away the Gemini as well. 
they decided to get rid of the Sand Wraith, which I think it's less likely that he would play that one. Um, but yeah, th that's going to be the six bands. Sand Wraith was the last one. They go with the Blitz as well. And I, I feel like Doghouse likes Blitz with Gemini. I've seen them run this a lot. It's like a very aggressive support. They don't really care about being defensive, so to speak. They just want to be as in your face and aggressive as possible i've even seen them run like blitz gemini mid uh whereas typically they would probably want to rather run that short lane to get gemini uh a bit more farm but if if they feel like they can't send him to the short lane that i think they have no problem with sending him uh to the mid lane and then they have engineer and behemoth which are very flexible already in terms of how they can lane but the lineup is completed for white flag gamers they do a ravenor and a pebbles pick on their last two so they're going to have a very stun-heavy draft. Like uh, We could see a tri-lane here. We could see 2-1-2 two, two with very standard lanes like Rally Kinesis off lane, Rhapsody Ravenor short lane, Pebbles mid. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about Ravenor versus Gemini, the matchup specifically between the carries. Uh, for sure, Ravenor needs a shrunken head this game to even be able to team fight because he's going to be fighting into Engineer and Behemoth and Gemini dealing so much magic damage. He's going to get kited around by the Blitz. I don't know if I necessarily would have liked picking up the Ravenor here. Because I feel like there's just too much for him to deal with uh, in fights. I think it's going to be really tough. And I think Ravenor is going to need a lot of farm this game to be able to compete with the Gemini. Whereas the Gemini, I feel like he can fight a lot earlier with his team. He doesn't need as much. Um, and at the same time, he scales incredibly well. This is why I, I, I'm a big fan of Gemini overall as a hero. I just feel like he's he's so versatile. And then we have the Flux on the last pick there. Holy cow. This lineup from Doghouse, I gotta say, this is like a spot-on draft, at least for me. Uh, they're most likely going to run mid-Flux here on Znooki, which uh, is going to set up some nice Engineer Behemoth combos in the mid-game uh, if he's able to get like a portal key to kind of set that up and follow up the energy field and whatnot, pull them in for a Behemoth bonk. I really love this Flux last pick. This this lineup from Snooki for me, in terms of like player comfort heroes and, and just overall hero synergy, it's fantastic. The only thing I would say it's really lacking is some strong physical presence. But again, that can kind of be remedied with um, Gemini um, getting uh, farmed up with his Dawnbringer and, and whatever else he's going to plan to build into this game. So I think from top to bottom, it's just really solid. The, the issues I have with Hellborn's lineup here is I do feel like Ravenor is going to struggle this game. I think he's going to need quite a lot to come online. Um, and it's going to be highly dependent on how well Pebbles and Rally do uh, with the supporting cast to kind of get him to where he needs to be. But I think that is one of the issues with their draft. But at the same time, this is a very strong lineup in its own right. They have lots of burst power with the Pebbles and the Rally. Lots of disables uh, with the Kinesis possibly stealing stuff like the Fissure. Um, and every hero has some kind of catch to kind of start things off for them. So from top to bottom, it is not a bad lineup by all means. I just fear that they might run into some trouble once the uh, the mid game rolls around and Ravenor's not quite where he wants to be right off the bat. But enough of that. We'll see how the game plays out. I could always be proven wrong, which I love when I'm proven wrong. We have Rally so far starting in the offlane going up against the Gemini and the Blitz, so 1v2 there. Then we have Engineer. Looks like he's possibly making his way for a dual mid here with Flux against the Pebbles. Uh, this could cause a rotation from either the Kinesis or the Rhapsody to dual lane here with the Pebbles, because if Pebbles is 2v1 against two ranged heroes, he's not going to get a whole lot of farm. He's going to take a lot of harass. There's the keg stun already. Look at that. He's already half life from the two heroes. They're going to need to make an adjustment right away. And then they have off lane Behemoth here. He's got the marchers picked up. So he's not even looking to contest this lane. They're just simply going 1 2 2 on the side of Legion. And there's the Rhapsody TB. I think this is correct. I think Kinesis is uh, not as strong in a 2v2 situation in mid lane. Whereas the Rhapsody can kind of keep Pebbles healthy whatnot and Kinesis can utilize pulls and get some more gold that way because uh, either way I don't think they're gonna really box out this behemoth from getting at least some experience he's gonna get some before uh, it gets too tough for him but I'm um, expecting most of the action at least early on to be mid lane I don't know if rally actually he gets really low so they've already done a good job of putting pressure on the rally 
he has gotten one creep kill, but I think that's gonna not be picking up too much moving forward as uh... Oh, they actually get the behemoth kill. Oh wow, I missed that. Okay, Fissure into Ball Lightning. I guess Behemoth got too low. So Behemoth got a little overconfident, he got caught out. It happens. He's going to be the Bloodlust kill, so uh, Wave Flag Gamer's already going to be on the board here. Bloodlust goes to Kinesis, he's going to take over the top of the chart for now, but Ravenor is going to kick him out relatively quickly. Flux on 9 and 5, Pebbles on 2 and 0, oh, so he cannot really touch the creeps here. He's having a very tough time. And Behemoth, he picks up the DD. Oh, this is, might be another kill on the Behemoth. He's trying to bonk as much as he can. He's going to go down once again. He got walled off by the Kinesis Fissure. That caused issues for him there. So already a 2 nothing start for White Flag Gamers, but... They're going to take a minimal Golden Experience lead so far. Ravenor on 14 and 8, last hits. Kex not gonna hit there on the pebbles. There's the dance floor. Uh, Disco Inferno coming out from Rhapsody. Pebbles gonna use the health potion. Gemini is actually a little bit behind in creeps compared to the Ravenor, so maybe he missed a couple boxing out the rally with, with the Blitz. But uh, they actually have, as well, Net Ace playing support this game. And we have Chris playing offlane, which they kind of swapped up the rules a bit. Rally, he's going to get slowed up by the Blitz here. Take some pressure. Expecting more action mid lane very soon. We have spells up in flux. Mana pot up on the engineer. He did go for the mine, he did not pick up the turret, so they're going for the burst uh, early on. We have Kinesis currently in the mid lane with a fissure, he's looking to maybe set something up here. Don't know if they can necessarily bring down the flux though, he's 815 HP. It's a really hard hero to kill. Oh, he's gonna go in on the blitz here. I don't think he can kill him. He's got the golden apple still. He's trying to bait this if anything. Gemini was thinking about coming over, but he's gonna go down once again in the top lane. The Fissure just catching him out from far away, I guess is causing issues. But uh, yeah, they catch the rally. Hasted Engineer, Duder coming over, getting that rune control with the bottle there from Flux. He's like, it's my bottle now, bro. If you ain't dropping an item. It's mine. We got Kinesis in the mid lane here again. They're trying to set something up, but I don't know if they can really necessarily kill the Flux with their heroes. Oh, Ravador is taking some heavy tower pressure here. It's gonna be fine though in the end. We have a three to one hero kill lead for Hellborn so far. All the kills are on Behemoth though. Pebbles taking a lot of pressure here. Oh, Flux couldn't get the auto attack there. He's using the direct bathing. <laughs> Uh, every time I, I never catch this kill on Behemoth. That's the fourth one now. It's died once again. Mid lane! There's the mine. Caught that one. It takes out Rhapsody. Pebbles had the combo on cooldown. They capitalized there. Dude's been landing some really nice kegs, by the way. That's It's not always the easiest to set up uh, a keg without another uh, stun to set you up there. Where's Blitz, by the way? He's in the mid lane. He's gonna get maybe caught here. The Fissure on the wrong side, unfortunately. They're gonna miss a kill there on the Blitz. If he could've walled him off, that would've maybe been a kill. Bottom lane, Gemini takes out Rally. One versus one. Without the ultimate as well. And then we have a dive. Here comes Behemoth with a Fissure. Rhapsody is in no man's land. They don't have enough damage to bring down Flux or the Blitz. Rhapsody gonna health pod in the trees here. As Kinesis is taking some tower pressure. Everybody is so low. Rhapsody health pots up. Is this going to be any kills? Blitz goes down. Flux also goes down. There's a fissure. As Engineer reports and he hits the keg stun. He's going to remove the wall. There's the counter fissure from Kinesis. So many heroes here in the mid lane. Kinesis is trying to juke. He's up the striders as well. I don't see Kinesis getting out of this. Oh! Well, yeah. Okay. Here's the fissure as the compel tried to save him. It's 
this is like uh, mid wars six minutes in so many heroes here Pebbles has a DD rune he's trying to bait out the engineer to toss him back to himself he misses the keg actually there's the fish oh no he's gonna run into four heroes what a bait coming in from Duder as the team support got there in time we're gonna call that a bait need to get myself some better boots I love it. It's gonna even up the score here at six apiece. It was, I think, four to one earlier. We have a dive coming in here from Ravenor. Oh boy, he could be in some trouble. Counter fissure coming in from Kinesis. Behemoth can't get his fissure off. He canceled it. And well, that's gonna backfire as Kinesis and Ravenor take out the Behemoth. He's died now for the fifth time, unfortunately. Double damage. No, that's a mana potion on the Gemini. Is he going for Energizer? Interesting. I have not seen Fa do this. Uh, usually he goes for the uh, for the Dawnbringer straight away. Um, or even the Astrolabe. Kind of surprised here. Uh, he also picks up one point in Elemental Force. He's not leveling out Twin Fangs just yet. Probably will keep just the one point. He goes in with a stun. There's the Blitzkrieg. Has the ultimate still, but too much distance. He's not going to go for the split. It's the cast speed early on. Kind of low. See a counter ward coming in. I don't know if he knows there's a ward up here, though. He might just be countering the rev ward. Top lane with the block coming in from Behemoth. They're going for the tower. There's the flexible. They missed the keg, though. Is it going to matter, though? Ebonar's on the run. There's a fissure. It only stuns up the flux. He's trying to body block. He's even trying to sacrifice himself. Like, be like, go for me, guys. Go for me. He sacks himself, and Ravenor is going to stay alive, but they're going to get this tower denied. It's on 42 health. Watch your head. Meanwhile, Pebbles is taking advantage of the mid lane here. Oh, there's a lot of mines. These are level 3 mines as well. No points in turret from engineers, just going keg of mine. Uh, seven kills apiece. Dive in the bottom lane. It looks like Blitz got the lane ward down. Even went for the dive with Gemini. There's the deny coming in from Behemoth. So Ravenor is on 1800 gold. He lines up the stun. There's a keg as he ports in with the ball lightning. And they're going to be fine actually. Beautiful keg stun from Dude, saving Behemoth there. He would have most likely died if that keg stun wasn't uh, wasn't on point. Kinesis okay, in an offensive position here. He's gonna toss him backwards. He's to throw out the wall. There's some mines here. He's trying to bait if anything. Not really gonna be enough for anything. He still has to discharge down for 10 seconds. Rally's getting spotted here on this ward of sight, but uh, Blitz, I don't think he's interested in going in for a kill just yet. Engineer gonna take the illusion rune there. Rally gets a solo kill on the Blitz. I was quite low on HP when that started. Level 4 Kinesis using Veiled Rod here. Where's he going? What is he trying to achieve here? He cannot kill anyone by himself. I don't really understand this Veil Drop play. Uh, even if there wasn't an engineer there to go for Behemoth, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. So, GPMs, it's Gemini and Ravenor both doing very well. The mids both, it's almost like a dead even game. Both. Carries with good farm, both mids with like sub 300 and then offlaner 200 and supports around 180, give or take some numbers there. Avatar picks up the light brand. So Kinesis ports top and dies again. That's quite weird actually.
Gemini went for the Energizer. He's thinking about going Astrolabe now as well. He's not going for the Dawnbringer uh, in any capacity just yet. Engineer in a uh, offensive position here. Setting up the miners. This is how a true engineer is played, by the way. I love seeing the uh, the mines. He's throwing out a keg stun. There's the nice protective melody, preventing a lot of damage on the pebbles. No TP support comes in though. And Kinesis dies top again. I'm not even sure what happened. Died for a third straight time top. Gemini goes down in the bot lane with Ravenor and Rally. That might have been a Veiled Rotted Ravenor. I'm not. I'm actually not sure how that happened. But a good kill. They used the slam as well. And they stopped Fa from farming. So he did not get off his uh, Astrolabe. Maybe he had it in stash as well. He goes for Energizer and Astrolabe here. <coughs> Behemoth farming, uh, honestly not that bad considering he started 0-5. He's, he's on a serial killer now with 250 GPM. Ports are coming in, fish are going to stop the pebbles. Engineer is trying to make the escape. He's going to get one bomb to blow up here. Might go for uh, another combo here. Oh, there's a kill. It looks like that's going to sacrifice Kinesis though. As Behemoth gets a kill on the Rhapsody as well. Both the supports dying for the uh, the Engineer kill. Quite a hectic game here. I'm gonna go in for the tower there. Takes it out. Rally is on the hunt here. Lightning Shackles ultimate there on the blitz mid lane. They get that kill. Very aggressive word to say, please. Oh, there's a Kablamo. Mind trap landing onto Kinesis. He dies for the seventh time this game. Tower might fall to creeps here in the mid lane. No defense coming out from White Flag Gamers. That's gonna go down to the creeps. And we take a look at the items. Behemoth, 1600 gold. Engineer and Gemini take out the rally. Rally goes down for the fourth time. Devils is about 800 from his portal key. Kegstone's gonna hit there. There's the ball lightning. Engineer will fall. Tried to get off the ultimate but couldn't get it off. So it's coming in on the Kinesis. Gemini's coming in from the flank. Not gonna be interested in going in there. Double damage blitz manning up. One versus four. Defensive discharge. Oh, Kinesis! Is he gonna go down to the creeps? Oh my god, 10 life there as he gets pushed over the cliff. He almost falls. That would have been crazy. Actually survives there. 10 life. And Behemoth, he picks up his portal key. This was a 0-5 Behemoth, by the way. 15 minutes in, picks up his portal key. He's level 10. He's just been kind of quietly doing his thing here. Gonna get the deny there as he goes for the shockwave. Gets stunned up. Can't get his spells off. He gets mini stunned. Good deny coming in from the rally there. But uh, portal key was already picked up. But he was not really too sad, I think. Here comes the lightning shackles into the blitzkrieg stun. The tower gets forwarded up. Pebble's gonna fall here. Three players collapse. They're most likely gonna get this deny as well engineer bothering Ravenor here picks up the frozen light frozen light yep yeah. 
Oh, Ravenor might get caught here. Kegstun gonna hit. There's a the protective melody. Energy field is down. He gets purged up. He's gonna live. Gemini jumps in, tries to get the Ravenor. He's gonna split in the tower. Oh, he's gonna get caught there by the pebbles. Flux pulls him in. But is there any follow up? Is the question. There is the keg stun. They're going to get a couple of kills here. Behemoth didn't have a shockwave ready to go. They are going to get four kills though for that sacrifice of the Gemini. A four for one. Only Ravenor survives and just barely as well on 200 life. That could have very well been a genocide. And I can only imagine if there was a shockwave for that fight, what could have been the, the possibilities there. So we have Legion, the doghouse specifically up 5,000 gold. Still trailing in experience though. We have a level 13 Ravenor um, on the side of Hellborn. And he continues to remain the top of the GPM chart. Got the mines. Is this going to be a bait? Oh! Allah Wagbar! Dead. Kinesis goes down to another mine trap. Blitz going to try to make the escape. Thinking about maybe going back in. Behemoth doesn't have a fissure though. All lightning gonna miss from Ravenor. Here comes the lightning shackles ultimate, slowing them up, but not a whole lot of follow up. More so just to kind of stall the fight. Behemoth, he's gonna go down here most likely. Oh my god, is he gonna live? He gets the stomp off. He is gonna die. They do get the kill onto Pebbles. Kegaway does miss from Engineer. Nice ball lightning coming in from the Ravenor. He takes out the Blitz, and he's looking to maybe go back in. There's the Compel Stun. Victory is ours. The Seismic Slam comes out. Energy Field is down, but Rally's just going to walk out. Here comes the buyback from Blitz as Flux did fall from that combo. And it is now a 23 to 26, or to 16 hero kill lead for Legion. Gemini picks up the Light Brand. He looks like he will be going the Dawnbringer now, just picking up some build up items before that. Ravenor, he picks up a Mighty Blade, so I don't think we're going to see him finish the Dawnbringer. Looks like he wants the Shunken now, going up against the Flux NGB combo. Wants that magic immunity. And we also have the Pebbles Portal Key picked up. Might have had that for a minute or two. Haven't caught that one, but still nothing on the supporting cast. Engineer has a Glowstone picked up, and he's bulking up quite a bit. 1200 HP. Looks like he'll be going for the staff of the master, perhaps. Team fight possibly brew in mid lane. Here comes the fissure, stopping the portal key. There's the compel though from Rally. Is it gonna get him the distance to safety? No, it's not. Gemini will get the kill there. Or no, Behemoth actually gets the kill. The dog farm is not done just yet. Behemoth sacrifices himself. And Rhapsody gonna survive. Here comes the stasis smash on the Gemini. As they do take out the Kinesis. Rally gets lightning shackled up from the Blitz. And Ravenor is here, but he's not looking to go back in actually as there are just too many alive from the doghouse here. Bailed Rod on the rally currently. Has a slam ready to go. It's gonna run into Flux there. Oh, he blinks in with the slow. Pulls him back, Blitz is coming in. There's the discharge, the Blitzkrieg stun. Rhapsody is gonna prevent the stun chain follow up as Gemini throws out the breath, he's gonna reset. Ravenor is in the fight now, but he's Gonna get kited by the energy field and they're gonna fall back here. Was that a buyback? No, there were no buybacks being used here in this fight. Ebonar misses the ball lightning. Gemini slows up three. There's a three man slow from the flux as well. Rally gonna get taken out in the background. And they're going to get the Gemini with Ravenor building up the charges. I think he is on max charges now. He's going to start to pound the auto attacks. Here comes the Behemoth Shockwave, though. And they're going to turn it around, says the Doghouse. A huge Shockwave coming in from Behemoth as Flux picks up a hat trick. Make it a quad kill, says Snooki. And that's going to be a genocide coming in from the Doghouse as they only lose the Blitz and the Gemini in this fight. A 5 for 2 team fight going the way of Doghouse. What a fight indeed, Gemini. Even with the death, still on 460 gold per minute. Same with Ravador, still 485 gold per minute with the death. But that combo was a beautiful one to see. And if that's not a wake up call to White Flag Gamers, I don't know what will be, as they are going to need to farm up those shrunken heads in the future here.
uh, or else the fights are going to look to continue to keep going that way with those flux poles, uh, setting up the behemoth and the engineer like that. That was just beautiful to see. <clears throat> We have 1,700 gold on the behemoth now. He could look to pick up... What is he going to pick up? He picks up a life tube there. Gemini picks up a fire band. He's got the... Uh, searing light, it looks like, picked up. Most likely pick up the ice brand next. Energizer gets used. He lands the stun there on the kinesis. It's the follow-up. Breath going to take him out. No, it actually... Crit kill credit goes to the blitz. We have Shaman's Head just picked up on the Flux, following up the Portal Key. He's going to maybe go for a Barrier Idol here. Pebbles, he could be in some trouble here. Veiled Rotted Flux, he's going to maybe catch him out here. Jumps in with the Release Slow. Stun's going to be avoided there from Zanuki. Kegaway comes in from the Engineer. There's the Fissure as well. And Sate on the Pebbles going to go down. Continues to struggle this game. 2-7. and seven. Only 250 GPM. Meanwhile, mid lane. Gemini goes in. They're fighting both the Rally and the Rhapsody. Blitz goes down to the Seismic Slam, but Gemini, he's still in the fight here. Rhapsody gonna get a nice melody in the trees. It won't get stopped immediately, but there's the stun. As Gemini recombines, Rally gonna get a two-man compel stun. Is he gonna live, though? He gets slowed up by the release, and Gemini is thinking about maybe going back in. There's an energy field, defensive more than anything. There's the pull in, though. There's the offensive fight of the energy field. The stun gonna miss from Gemini. And there's the shrunken head from Ravenor. Gemini's got to be uh, careful now. Paul ain't going to miss, though. And that is so unfortunate because now Ravenor is going to be forced to fall back with that shrunken head activated. And they are going to get the tower kill here as well. Uh, Gemini gets credit for that one. And he's on his way to his Dawnbringer now. Only needs about 800 more gold for that full Dawnbringer. So setting up pr a pretty nice item, uh, item build here at 23 minutes. We have no items on the rally. Still only farming 240 gold per minute. Rhapsody is getting close to her tablet, but Kinesis, nothing really to show for this game as well. And we have Engineer almost at Staff of the Master. He needs one more piece, and he's going to be able to throw that energy field to wherever Flux is with the pole. That's going to be such a strong initiation tool as well uh, with the discharge combination. Behemoth also goes for a Shaman's Headdress, actually. I wasn't expecting that, but just wants to bulk up on armor. Compel comes out, but he does get Fissure Stunned up. Um, <clears throat> Flux has the full Barrier Idol completed, so that's going to bump up their team fighting power quite a bit moving forward here. Um, I think Ravenor maybe is going to need to look to invest into a portal key this game. Um, because I feel like he's had a lot of trouble landing his ball lightning stunts. Kinesis gets picked off there once again. That is his 13th death of the game. But uh, it kind of sucks. I don't think he really wants to go for portal key. I think he wants to go more combat style of Ravenor build. But uh, <clears throat> they're going to get the catcher on the blitz. That's a quick kill. Don't know if Ravenor necessarily needed a TP there, but uh, maybe he was feeling under pressure down here at the bottom lane with the threat of Behemoth missing as well. Little Dawnbringer finished on the Gemini. We might see uh, a Shrunken Head next or even something like a Gajuro. See what he decides to go for. I, I'm a big fan of the Shrunken Head here because he's up against so, so much crowd control and Ravenor running around. Uh, with the pebbles and whatnot. What's going on here? Some counter warding. He's just gonna get caught here. He doesn't even get the ward countered. Engineer, he's gonna get jumped there. There's the flux pull. As Engineer got his energy field off. Meanwhile, bot lane, they actually get the kill on the Ravenor. He did get a shrunken head off, but the Bonk and the Gemini, too strong. They get the kill on the Pebbles as well. Rhapsody falls down there as well. The only one to survive is the Rally. And they only kill the Engineer. That is, uh, when you're, when you're taking fights like that and only killing the support for four, you know things are starting to look not too good. 
Gemini's not working on the base. We take out the creep wave there. We got Gemini. He overtook Ravenor by over 100 GPM now. He's at 560. Um, I still think he's going to go Shrunken, but we'll see what he picks up with 2,900 gold. Here's the Abyssal Skull on Flux. Looks like they want to do Congors with that item picked up. Uh, Engineer's 130 gold from his staff. So he's doing what I would do. <laughs> sit in the jungle. Get the remaining gold. He's going to pull the uh, camp there. Interesting, actually. He's not going to pull them to the mines. A little bit surprised by that. Oh, maybe he wants to... Uh, do it that way. All right, I don't get him enough gold for his staff. It's like, I'm good. I got my staff. Let me join the team fight now. Gemini gonna get jumped here. Ball lightning comes out from Ravenor. They do kite him. There's the lightning shackles. Gemini gets lifted by the stasis smash. He's gonna die. He actually goes for a axe of the Malphite. He's going for heart. Not even gonna go for Shunken. Blitz is gonna fall here as well. And engineer. I don't. He's gonna get the staff delivered. Are they gonna do a combo here? No. Flex is gonna die. So. Doghouse got a little bit too overconfident here. They didn't want to wait for NG staff before taking the fight. They're going to do like a mini throw here. They lose four players. This is very typical Doghouse. They're in a huge lead. They they slip up. They're not patient. They uh, they kind of get become uncoordinated. And then now they're probably like, their comms are probably like, okay, guys, we, we got our NG staff. We, we just bought a 3,000 gold item on Gemini. Now is the right time to take a fight. Let's let's do it the right way. Let's not get too overconfident here. Ravenor is going to finish the Dawnbringer. They have Behemoth setting up. Possibly looking to light up a Shockwave. He's waiting for them to kind of group up. It's not going to happen though. This is just going to fall. And well, it wouldn't have mattered really because there was no follow-up. Everyone was still respawning. So Blitz kind of dies for nothing. Unfortunately. And we could maybe see a Congor kill. Behemoth picks up a spiked bola. I like that pickup quite a lot actually. I was not expecting him to go for that. Um, I think it's an item that they definitely needed against Ravenor. It's a, it's a huge counter to him having the disarm. Lux and Gemini gonna take out Rally here. That was without any big cooldowns. They do use the dog. Uh, what's it called even? The Fire and Ice, that's right. They, they use Fire and Ice, but that's not really a big cooldown. It's up again in 30 seconds. Here comes a nice Shockwave. It's gonna pull a uh, stun too as they get pulled in. He's gonna get disarmed. Oh, one more hit. Can he survive? He's getting blocked by the pebbles. He's actually going to live unless Flux can get in there, but he is not able to. They do take out the Rhapsody as pebbles. He's trying to stall. The onslaught here from the doghouse, the fissure stun, they're not going to connect. Looks going to take a lot of tower pressure there. Invisibility rune was used by the pebbles as well. And they did survive on the Ravenor. It was very close. <laughs> so they did use three ultimates there. The, the full wombo combo, so to speak. That ward is going <coughs> to remain there as I believe the red ward ran out. Oh, there is a ward of sight here. It's going to get countered. And now the vision is gone, but they do have this one. They see that the Kong is being attacked. So we have Veiled Rod up on the rally. He does have a portal key. Let's see if he can get an initiation. There's a jump from two in the background. Ball lightning. Gonna connect on the flux. Ravenor reports in. He doesn't have Shunken for one more second. He's gonna go down. The dog form is gonna take him out. And Volka went in a little bit too early there. Hatcher comes out for the Gemini. It's a genocide. He did not get off the Shunken head there from Ravenor. And this could very well be a token if they want to go for it. Now there is a genocide, so uh, I, I do expect we're going to see a Rax push here in the bot lane with the tower being very low. Gemini also pushing the mid lane. He picks up a Behemoth's heart, by the way, sitting on 3,200 life. And they're maybe trying to get two Raxes here, if anything. 
I think the team support here can take out the bot racks. I think it would actually be faster if they went all together on bot lane, but we'll see if the three of them can get the melee raxes or not. Pebbles is up with Kinesis. Rhapsody is up as well. Gemini is going to maybe get jumped here. They get the full Rax in the bot lane. And one hit on the Rax. There's a beautiful combo coming in. That was without an energy field. The Behemoth Shockwave following up the Flux pull. That's a huge combo. That's going to seal the deal here for game two. As it finishes with roughly a 50 to 28 hero kill lead for the Doghouse. We'll say a 25,000 gold lead or so, but... That was a nicely executed game there from the doghouse as they will take game number two in a very decisive fashion there.